with a Grixis Delver. All right. A couple departures from my list. We have Young Power Master and Gitaxian <laughs> Probe. Not big on these cards in modern, though I can hardly disparage the archetype. Yeah, this is a more Delver-esque Delver list. Instead of being a control deck with Delvers, he's playing Pyromancers, Delvers, Grim Lava Mancer, Probe. This, is, this feels like a legacy port. And these changes are going to hurt Brett the longer the opponent is trying to go. They'll help you close fast games, but it's not surprising to see Jim up a game. All right, so we bring you into the game underway. We have on the right Brett Fiend, four lands in play. He's down a game with Grixis Delver and has a Snapcaster Mage in play. 13 life. On Jim Davis' side, he's at 18 life. He has fewer lands, as you see him getting a Hollowed Fountain on end step. But, and here's probably the most important thing on the board. Two copies of Ancestral Visions suspended three counters apiece. It looks like Jim Davis' second turn was just to suspend two visions. Not a bad start. You see a Bolt in Jim's graveyard and a Delver in Brett's. Yep. So if that's turn four, Jim will play a land and pass. As long as he's come off suspend, he's content to have nothing happen. Another departure in Brett's build. He has only two Tassigers, no Gurmag Angler. So Lightning Bolt is much better against his build than it is against my build. So why why would that be the case? Why does Tassiger matter? Is it just the, the, is it the difference between Tassiger and Angler, or are you just saying the quantity? Quantity. Okay. Uh, two versus four. Two, gotcha. two Delve gotcha. Threats versus four Delve Threats. Yeah, it's going to be a Thought Scour for Brett targeting himself. Mills a Tassiger in a land and draws another Snapcaster. Yeah, it's the more you become about creatures, and the less you become, then the the better the Lightning Bolt Path Snapcaster deck's going to be against you. And especially if they're a Lightning Helix deck on top of that. Which Jim certainly is. Three copies in the main. <laughs> Draws. He misses the land drop here and has a, another sense Ancestral Visions that he'll suspend. <laughs> Next turn is going to be gonna pretty have to good discard. for Jim. Yeah. You see four cards in hand. He has Negate, Dispel, Nahiri, Remand. Brett looks like he's going to go end step for a Kolagon's Command. Getting back Tassiger is one of the modes. Jim's going to counter. He just doesn't know how. He has Negate, Dispel. Considering the fact that on his next turn, he'll be drawing seven cards, there's no way you don't go for something here. I actually like leading on one of the two mana counters, either Negate or Remand. And then if Brett has Spell Snare, he's likely to pull the trigger. You can cast your Dispel, and then you'll yeah. just be closer to seven cards at the end of your next turn. The uh, modes here were two damage to Jim and get back Tassiger. So Negate, Spell Snare from Brett, uh, Jim's got to be thrilled about this. Yeah, exactly. He, he gets to empty his hand right before these visions. Awesome. Here's Dispel. Yep, that was a great exchange for Jim. Brett gets one turn to resolve things. Jim's going to be tapped out during Brett's main phase. He's going to have to make the most of it because Jim's getting a new hand when he untaps. Yeah, Jim's still at 15 life as well. Young Pyromancer, the draw for Brett. I'm curious. What does Jim have for an electrolyzed count? That card seems absurd here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snapcaster Mage hits Jim down to 13. Young Pyromancer from Brett. And now he passes. Here come the vision. OK, so uh, one good thing for Brett here, no electrolyzing the 75. Jim does have access to one. He is ecstatic caster out of the sideboard. Jim draws his first three, a helix among those. He's going to go for another three, and he gets them all. See, three from the first vision, three from the second vision, and the draw for the turn. Jim with a just a stack of cards in his hand. Can barely even hold all of them. <laughs> now has the land he's looking for. It's Arid Mesa. So objective for Jim on this turn, get that young Pyromancer yeah. off the table. Yeah, kill, kill some creatures. Just, just, just get them all. Yep. Trade resources. Here is Lightning Helix on Pyromancer. Brett does have a Spell Pierce. And Jim had a Celestial Colonnade. I like playing the, uh, the Arid Mesa. It gave him access to Spell Snare, Mana Leak, if he had to fight a Counter War. Yeah, there's no rush on Jim's side to make the Colonnade. He's, he has so many more cards. He's just going to play this at a... And losing that yeah. counter war when he had the option to win it would just be devastating. All right. A swing for two from Snapcaster. Brett will follow up with a Delver of Secrets. So he still has two creatures left. He's got Jim down to 14. I would not be happy with my opponent still on 14 life from this position. 
Jim will fetch to make it 13. Not, not enough. Still not happy. Okay. <laughs> he will cast a Vendillion click on Brett's end step. We're not sure who it's targeting. Wants to see if it resolves first. If I'm Jim, I think I'd like to get a look at Brett's hand, especially after there was no action on that Lightning Helix. Snapcaster Mage, Snapcaster Mage, Spell Pierce. It's a good holding from Brett. Yeah, it's solid. Spell Pierce is going to get progressively worse as we advance to the game here. Jim has one Spell Snare. Yeah. Have to imagine one of these Snapcasters is going to be leaving the hand. In these mirrors, Snapcaster is... It's the, it's it's the it's card. The, it's the card, it's right? It's the card. Just take care. Get rid of that. And he'll take one of the two Snapcaster Mages. Easy enough. Jim will untap. And the best part here from Jim Davis aside is he's not even behind in the race. It's 13 apiece. Yeah. Jim. This is looking real good for Jim. He draws a second copy of Nahiri. Now he is short on removal right now. Doesn't you know, you're looking for helixes, paths, and bolts, and he's he's got one path. Path mana leak. Spell Snare, two Nahiris. And uh, even though Jim is doing okay in the race, I like hanging back click here in case you want to get in front of a flipped Insectile Aberration. Delver of Secrets will turn in Insectile Aberration. Brett shows a Thought Scour on his turn. Then draws it. Brett's hand. We know Spell Pierce, Thought Scour, Snapcaster Mage. It's got one more in it. That one's a mystery. And here come the two creatures, the 3-2 flyer and the 2-1. Jim will trade flyers. And take two, goes to 11. Now, now in the following turn, Jim will be able to cast Nahiri and pay for Spell Pierce. Yeah, it looks like Remand is Jim's last card. So here's a Thought Scour. Brett will target himself. Dreadbore and Dispel into the yard. Draws a card off it. Looks like it was a Polluted Delta. Or Dark Slick Shores, rather. And Grim Lava Mancer for Brett. At some point, I think Jim's going to have to f just cycle this Remand. I don't know if it's right now. Yeah, it's really not going to do very much. He doesn't know that Brett has so few Delve creatures. Um, if you believe that there's going to be at least four copies, then Remand gains a lot of value. It gets this specific uh, match. I'd like to pull the trigger on Remand. Jim just has so many cards in hand. Looks like he is going to cycle. Yeah, a Remand on the Grim Lava Mancer. It's, yeah, you can, Remand is good against Snapcaster Mages, but at the same time, Jim already has a Spell Snare for that, so it's not, yep. yeah, he yep. just gets a new card. There's no reason to let the Snapcaster resolve and then fight over it. And how about this? Now he can Mana Leak the Grim Lava Mancer, because Brett's actually down to two untapped lands. Mana Leak, another card that was just sitting there losing value. I mean, it won't trade with Lava Mancer, it'll trade with that Spell Pierce in Brett's hand, but... That's fine. He got a card for his Mana Leak. That still has Path to Exile multiple Nahiris. He's going to clean this board up very nicely. And oh, I like this a lot. Ancestral yeah. Vision on Suspend on top of that. So Path will then finally take care of the Lava Mancer, and now Jim can untap, and he finally has set himself up for a clean board to say Nahiri go. Yep. Beautiful. I think Jim has navigated this quite well. Yeah. I... He's been looking for a window to cast Nahiri for a bit now, yep. and he, but he made one for himself. He'll cast Serum Visions. I guess you should Serum Visions before the Nahiri in case you wanted to plus the Nahiri. Yeah, you could rummage into whatever you see with the yeah, Visions. Yeah, Snapcaster's only two damage. Something like Timely Reinforcements would be backbreaking. He's got two Spell Snares, two Nahiris, and an Island now. So he plays in here. I'm interested to see what Modi picks. All right, not even hesitation. He's going to exile the Snapcaster. Yeah, Brett has, uh, I believe, one card in hand. Oh, and Jim's got that vision. And if he lightning bolts Nahiri, Jim has backup Nahiri.
Snapcaster Mage from Brett. No, no, no. Jim's no, not having any of that. Yeah, Brett uh, Manalik the Spell Snare here. I think Jim just has another Spell Snare. Yep, he'll Manalik the Spell Snare, and Jim will re Spell Snare the Snapcaster Mage. Thanks for playing. Style question. When it doesn't matter, do you, when you have the second spell snare, do you snare the Snapcaster a second time or do you snare the Mana Leak? When it doesn't matter, Let's I snare the Mana Leak. Okay. So, you know. I like big stacks. Countering their counters adds, in, adds insult to it. So now Jim refuels off the Ancestral Vision. He's up to five cards again, pluses the Nahiri. And Brett will untap one card in hand, drawing to two. Facing down a Planeswalker. He's down a game. This one will take the match. Well, don't need this backup Nahiri anymore. Jim will say go. And look on Jim's side. Got Colonnade, uh, six other lands. That's fine. Go. <laughs> go. Brett, two cards. Uh, go. Jim discards another Nahiri, draws another land. Yeah, he'll play those. There's just no reason to get aggressive. Uh, part of activating the Colonnade is that it takes him off casting multiple mana leaks or multiple two mana spells, which he can just do if Brett has anything relevant. Snapcaster from Brett. This is his main phase before Jim untaps with an eight loyalty Nahiri. So in response, Jim will cast a Snapcaster of his own. Looks like he's going to go for Spell Snare, and that will try to hit Brett's mage with the Snare. Brett will... Counter Squall. Counter Squall. All right. The Super Negate. He'll Counter Squall back the Spell Snare. Jim's got more cards. As long as they play, he'll win this fight. He minimally has a mana leak. That's not going to quite do it on its own. Remember, it this fight's just over a main phase Snapcaster Mage. If he gets Brett to tap out and nothing else, it's still a win. Right, and if, if Brett pays for a mana leak here... Oh, it's way worse than that. <laughs> He's gonna, gosh. He's going to remand... His own spell snare. Now, that's a flashed back spell snare that Jim's remanding, so it's just a card draw spell. It doesn't win him the counter war, but it draws him a bunch of cards. So that plays super good if Jim is remanding a spell snare he's casting because he just yeah. gets around a counter and gets to cast his spell again. Um, unclear what the goal was on that. He already uh, had cards he could cast. I think that was just a mistake. That was just a mistake. Yeah, I was like, wait, that doesn't do anything. I mean, it's going to be fine. Yeah. I liked the Mana League play where you just tap Brett out. Yeah. And then you say, yeah, yeah, you can have your 2-1. What are you giving flashback to with all that zero mana, you know? All roads lead to Rome. Another Snapcaster for Jim, though. That'll do it. Game and match, Jim Davis it's moves on to 4-0. Tough to lose when you draw nine extra cards <laughs> in a blue mirror. Yeah.